Hello my fellow nerds and welcome back to another episode of Splatoon 3 Road to Raw, the series where I attempt to get every single weapon in Splatoon 3 to the raw rank. I'm your host Noah. If you don't know how the rules work, you can check them out in the description below. And the weapon that I will be using today as given to me by a random number generator is the 52 gal. An extremely powerful weapon that I don't think will have many issues getting to raw. But you know the series likes to prove me wrong so I guess we'll find out. But without further ado, let's jump right into the games. Here we are at our first game. You may be asking yourself, uh, what, what, what is the 52 gal? What does that mean? Well, the 52 is... Well, okay, let's back up a little bit. The 52 gal is a shooter, uh, so you just hold the button and it shoots ink. And that's really good because in Turf War, you're just trying to get ink down on the playing field uh, to win. So, that's pretty powerful. But the 52 is actually derived from the fact that under the correct conditions, this weapon does 52 damage. Which is incredible, um, because it takes 100 damage to knock out an opponent, and yeah, that's just like unheard of for any shooter. I mean, heck, even the um, 90, 96 gal, it doesn't even do that much, uh, so it's pretty good. Oh, you missed your shots, bud. Oh, okay, I'm bad. Um, but yeah, so in theory, it could only take two shots to take out your opponent. And with a normal shooter, that is just, like, insane. So, that's why this weapon is so powerful. It comes with the uh, ink wall, which is good at blocking shots and protecting you. I plan on using it quite a bit, especially since I have a, a, quite a bit of sub saver on this uh, outfit. And then the other thing is the... What's it called? Killer Whale 5.1. Oh my gosh! Uh, you saw the person down there use it, and I used it at the beginning of the match. It just targets onto opponents and chases them down and damages them. Pretty solid. Uh, but yeah, this weapon's really, really good just because of its high damage output and great ink ability. Uh, there's really not much to not like about this weapon. Um, so, well, other than the fact that I'm just not doing so well with it. There we go. Easy pick. I was hoping that the Sniper Rider wouldn't be able to hit me, and I was correct, so that's good. Uh, that's not good, though. My teammate is going to need some help. They're gone, and I'm still alive. I'm sorry, teammate. Your death is not in vain, I promise. Uh, let's prep this. Yeah, get, get one up there. Uh-oh. I'm horrible. <gasps> okay, well, that's not good. And, well, whoo! Teammate in the back, though, going crazy. Oh, my gosh. Okay, we're just going to teleport here. Teleport. Squid jump. Uh, hope that we can get some damage off real quick. Oh my gosh, I am so bad. But our teammate in the back did a pretty good job, and they're trying to clean it up, but I'm not sure if it's going to be enough. Even if we lose, it doesn't really matter. We're still at 0.0, .0 so there's not a huge effect for losing. I do think we lose, though. Oh, no, not even close. Okay. Oh, yeah, I don't deserve those gold medals, but there's a lot of work to be done. I think I can do it. Let's keep it moving. Oh, oh, first game, let's go, fist bump. There's the two shot that we were looking for. And a paintbrush back here that is, has more range than I do. Okay, well, I took them both out. Now I did talk about how this weapon is pretty dang good, but there are some pretty glaring downsides. Um, one of those is that the shot RNG, as you can tell by my reticle, is pretty large. Um, and at some points it can be kind of tricky to hit shots. Like, you really need those first two to hit if you want to win your interaction, and sometimes that just doesn't happen. And then another somewhat downside is that it has a somewhat short range, but considering the amount of damage it can do, it's not that big of a deal. It can just be kind of frustrating in some scenarios. One, two, there we go. I didn't even know it did 52 damage. I wasn't sure where its name came from, because the 96 gal doesn't do 96 damage, to my knowledge. I mean, maybe I like point blank, but still. Uh, it's pretty consistently a two-shot. I thought this weapon would be consistently a three-shot, but boy, was I wrong. We got an enemy going down. Have the wall put up. They really can't do much about that. Uh, oh, there's two. Here, we'll, we'll trade walls, we'll trade walls. You can have mine, I can have yours. There we go. <laughs> hey, that's a wipeout. Oh, it's looking like it's going to be a win, but we'll get a little bit of extra ink down. Maybe we can get up to 900, that'd be good. 
Um, let's also make sure no one sneaks through because that wouldn't be the last thing we want. Paintbrush. There we go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, yeah, shot RNG is a little bit, aiming is a little bit, but we got it done. That'll be 2.0. So two pretty decent games. First one wasn't that great, but this one definitely was a lot better. There we go, 61 to 22. That's insane. I feel like the gold medals were a little bit more earned this time, so I'll take it. We have some longer range threats on this team, so I'll have to utilize my wall and being sneaky in order to take them out. So it might be a little tricky, but I think we can do it. Wow, that was just horrible timing. Okay, there's that, but we do have the sniper on us. This is horrible. And it's gone. Oh, nope. Ah! Well, all three of my teammates are dead, so this isn't looking good. Do my best to play aggro, but that sniper is still scaring me. Hopefully we can take him out soon. I, I don't know where it is, actually. I want my revenge for all the times you messed me up. Ugh. Oh, okay, well, that's good. I'll, I'll take the trade for sure. I mean, we're in a really, really heavy lead, so as long as we can keep it up. Oh, no, they're coming back. Ugh. Come on, team. Keep it down. Just get a little bit more. There we go. Oh, I think that'll be enough. That should be 3.0. We were struggling at the beginning there. I'd give it to us, yeah. Once we finally took the sniper out and that tri-stringer, we could kind of get them off their high horse and keep them down, so. There we go. Another three gold, and another win. 3.0. And another fist bump. Your boys going sneaky mode, they have no clue. Uh-oh. Whoop! Nope, you missed. <laughs> I got behind you. Haha. <laughs> oh. There we go. That was a good pick. Um, we're still struggling in the danger zone right now, but we also have two chargers, so our uh, advantage states are cut pretty short if we lose even just a couple people. Ow. That hurt. Okay, but we're living. Nice pick, too. Huge snipes, huge snipes. Let's go, let's play aggressive. We got this, we got this team, come on. Uh, I want Soda just to end it off real quick. There we go. I do not want those, get those away. Okay, good. We can hold down mid pretty easily here. Um... Well, I don't know. That flings is doing a lot. But we should be okay. There we go. They're in the danger zone. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. 4.0, I think. I mean, I made this mistake last time, and I was completely incorrect. But, I mean, not like that we lost, but that I thought we were at 4.0 is actually 3.0. Only missing a one gold medal, but that's A-OK. -okay. Still a pretty good game. Welcome to the 4.0 game where I get one shot to prove to myself and everyone else that I can get this weapon to raw, or else I have to do it, like, a little bit longer. <laughs> Honestly, I've been recording for 13 minutes, so I wouldn't mind getting to play a little more with this weapon, but every time I say that, it's always a regret, because then I end up playing for, like, an extra hour, and I'm like, eh, I didn't really need to do that. Uh, but yeah, usually during the 4.0 games, I like to say what I like and don't like about the weapons that I play. And so this weapon is not going to be any different. So what do I like and don't like about the 52 gal? At least I come back quickly. Um, this weapon's great. It's really, really powerful, which is more powerful than I thought it was. And I've been playing this game since the first one where it came out. Um, so that's kind of crazy. So it has good kill potential. Um okay range it's not great i will say the shot rng is a huge downside but it's not anything that would get me to not play the weapon you know like it's still really good 
so don't take that wrong at, by any means. I wanted that. Um, the wall's solid. It's kind of weird because you can't push forward as much as you need to to get a ton of use out of it. But as long as you play relatively aggressive, it shouldn't matter. Uh, and you're still up there, and I didn't realize. And then, uh, Killer Whale's also really good just for being able to uh, keep people away. So, that's solid as well. But yeah, I mean, there's nothing really that much that I can complain about this weapon. Oh, yeah, well, the blaster hitting me with the direct sure does suck, though. I think the only thing that I really don't like, other than the shot RNG, is that this weapon is kind of boring. I mean, not really boring, per se, but just, like, simple in comparison to some of the other options, you know? And that's not nearly as fun, you know? I want to play with some of the weirder weapons, something that is a little less orthodox, right? Um, I mean, this weapon's still really good, and the shot RNG does make it a little more interesting, but not in, like, a good way, you know? They're pushing at the end here to win, and it's going to be really close. I'm not sure if we'll be able to do it, but that's two down on their side and only me down on ours, so come on, team. Clutch it up. Oh, it's going to be close. It'll come down to Judd at the very end here. That might be 3.5. Oh, I don't know. We got in their base quite a bit. Oh my gosh, is that five games in a row? Man. Well, we couldn't get all three gold medals every single time, but yeah, that was five games in a row. That's pretty incredible. Okay. Well, it's not the quote-unquote perfect video that I've set out for myself. That's five games in a row with all gold medals. But, oh my gosh. Like, in uh, Road to Raw Season 1 from Splatoon 2, I would definitely count that. So, pretty dang close. <laughs> I've been recording for 17 minutes. What the heck? Okay, well, there you go. There's your 5.0 raw. Uh, yeah. I mean, I was expecting to have to keep using this weapon through the map change, which is happening in 10 minutes. Uh, so there's the 52 gallon, just to prove it. I can show you the 52. There it is. Um, let me try to get it further away. Yeah, see, it, it has a little bit of damage fall off, so sometimes it takes three, but... In a decent scenario, it takes two. And real quick, I, I do want to see how much the 96 does, because I'm confused. You'll get to see this weapon later in the series. I did... Oh, I think I've already done that one. But the normal 96, how much does it do? Yeah, 62. So, it's a little more consistently a two-shot, but it doesn't do 96 damage. That'd be crazy. I'm glad they didn't do that. But, yeah, 52, gal. Um, what is my professional rating on the weapon? I'm going to give it an 8. I know we won five games in a row with it. I don't really want that to bias my score too much. I think an eight is, like, quite a bit above average. It's really solid. Great damage. Uh, the RNG holds it back a little bit. Um, but the kit's pretty solid. And it's good for inking turf. So, overall, a pretty powerful weapon. I think another kit on this weapon would go crazy. Just to offer a bit of a different, more aggressive play style than the kind of, like, brawly get up in your face, but then get back kit that this one has. Um, so yeah, 8 out of 10 is what I'll give it. Sorry for the slow turnaround, that looked really creepy. <laughs> uh, but thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe, because I'll be posting some more Road to Raw videos in the future. Uh, they'll be coming out real soon, so be sure to subscribe so you can look out for those. And I'll see y'all in the next one.